So today I will be sharing with you three, let me get my fingers right. So today I will be sharing with you three, let me get my fingers right, three sewing makes. And I feel like it's been a while since I've shown three. I usually show one or two, but yeah, today I have three things to share. So I have my notes on the side, so I may be looking over from time to time. So the first sewing make is New Look 6540. And this is just a simple sheath dress. And I don't know if you've been watching for a while, but if you haven't, there was a video where I went shopping at Joann's and I was looking for some suede faux fabric and I didn't want to pay the price that the fabric was at the time that I was at the store. So I waited and a little bit later they had a sale and then they had a 20% off coupon. So I went back and I got this orange faux suede and I decided to make this sheath dress. So it's really simple. It's not too much to it at all. It has front darts and an invisible zipper in the back. But that's really all to it. It's just not a whole lot going on. There aren't a whole lot of details. And it's just, you know, a really simple, you step into it and there it is. So yeah, I was really happy to finally get this faux suede because it was something that was just in my radar and I just, I really wanted it. So I finally did go back and get it just in case anybody was, was wondering. So yes, this is the New Look 6540 sheath dress. And the only modification that I made to it was to do a narrow hem at the bottom rather than the hem that the pattern recommended. Okay. So my next sewing make is a top and this is Simplicity 8988 and this is a scrap buster top so I used as many scraps as I could find in my sewing room that would match because I kind of wanted this to co color coordinate and this is what I came up with. Let me get the front. Okay this is the front and there's a floral knit here, there's stripes, then here's another little knit that I used in my coat again and then there are sleeves different pieces on the sleeves and um, the sleeves are different because one has the white in the back and the other one has the white I'm sorry one has white in the front and then the other one has floral in the front so yeah but this is a scrap buster top it's really really simple the back is just black and white striped and it does have the um, floral print up here for the back facing yeah that is it the only thing about this that I wasn't so so crazy about is the sleeves are kind of wide on me so yeah there's a lot of room here hanging under my sleeve area and the other thing is the sleeves were really, really long. I ended up having to take off about three and a half inches off of the end of the sleeve because it was just really, really long. It just extended out fairly long. So yeah, that's that. The other thing was on the pattern, I thought the bottom of the um, top was a band, like it would kind of fit snug. But when I made the garment, I realized that there is no band at the bottom. That is just really a deep hem, which I didn't do. I didn't do a deep hem. I just did like a regular, looks like about three eighths of an, of an inch of, an, of a hem. So yeah, that's that. And then the last sewing make is Simplicity 8701. And this is one of those patterns where you can hack it. So I just made the base pants. I didn't do the, um, there's an extension at the bottom for, I believe it's like a band that they're calling it. I didn't do that. I just did the simple base pair of pants and they're straight up and down. I guess all pants are straight up and down, but they're, they're really, straight leg and they have wide legs also and let's see what else this is a corduroy i ran out of fabric so i ended up using scraps and it was for the facing so i figured it was okay because you wouldn't really see it once the pants are worn there are darts in the back the pattern does have patch pockets but i chose to leave the patch pockets off and there were some things I wanted to mention about this pattern. For me, I had to reduce the crotch. So what I did was just use the fold here line and I just, you know, folded the pattern pieces and then took it up 
however many inches I think it was an inch or so I just folded it up to kind of decrease the crotch area and then I made sure the ends of the pattern pieces were what do you call it when you trim them down and make them you know, I folded mine in because I didn't want to manipulate my pattern but I just kind of you know made it fit properly on the sides of the pattern pieces there's a word I'm trying to think of and I can't remember what it is that they call that when you kind of skim the insides in but anyway that's what I did and then um did I mention that the directions for the zipper were great like this is a fly front zipper and it was so so easy to follow so I do recommend the zipper insertion and you know even if I never make this pattern again I plan to keep the zipper directions because they were really really easy to follow along I also had to take in the side seam so I made a size 8 but it was a bit too wide on the sides for me so after I attached the first waistband before the facing waistband I put the pants on and then I just ended up just sewing from the bottom I'm sorry from the top to the bottom I just sewed in about five eighths of an inch and I just guessed and it worked out it worked out okay another thing there was a little error in the pattern it did not tell you that you actually need to cut out piece number five two times which is a piece that goes into the waistband area I ended up cutting it out once and then I had to go back and that's when I found the scrap I believe it was that green piece that I had to end up using another piece of uh, a scrap piece of fabric for um, but yeah the pattern didn't tell you to cut that out twice so you do need to do that and yeah that is it those are all the things that I wanted to share about all of these makes I will go ahead and show you what they look like on before I go I want to leave you with a love share so I can remember being back in elementary school and there will be a kid that would have an accident and they would throw up all over the place and the custodian would come into the room and throw this powder looking stuff on top of the throw up and just sweep all that stuff away and the floor will be nice and smooth and clean and it'd be like nothing ever happened I found out what that stuff is that the custodians would throw on top of the vomit and it is salt dust i never knew that so i thought that that was so interesting that was something that i learned recently so yes my love share for today is that sawdust can be used to soak up liquid spills making them easier to collect and sweep up very interesting all right so thank you so much for watching i will see you or you will see me in the next video if you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.